Hello Sagittarius, my name is Gabrielle De La Garza, aka The New York Doctress, and today I'm going to be doing your RN reading, which is your right now reading. So welcome to your appointment, welcome to my office, and make sure you go ahead, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and let's get right the hell into it. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and yeah, I'm already in your pre-shuffle right now, so I was getting some good messages and wanted to kind of like start here. So I feel like you're premeditating something or like doing something preemptively. Like, so before, like your prep work is on point, Sagittarius. Like, I feel like you're really prepared for whatever, whatever it is you need to be doing. Um, and I also see you working in your room, okay? So I feel like there's something that you do by yourself in your room that is very beneficial to you in some way, right? Like, I, I don't know. It's like you, and it's just you in your room or something. Okay, so, but I'm also now seeing, because I have the lover's card, the emperor, and the four of pentacles here, just so you uh, kind of know what I'm looking at. Uh, but I don't want to touch it right now, right? I want to let it sit. So you could have just got something that was new, maybe, um, or something's like very new. Like you really don't want to use it. You really don't want to touch it. This could be a new pair of sneakers. This could be a, like a new hat, new watch, new something. I feel like it's like a physical thing that you really like. Okay. I see you have a big, or you're trying to have a bigger, or you something about having a bigger social media presence. So there's something about you prep work. I keep or line work. Something about your line work. I don't know what this like pertains to. Right, but something about it going in like a straight line or something needs to be. It's very direct, very forward, very concise, um, strict. There's like a, oh, like I don't even want to bend my hand. Like I just, it's very point on or on point okay i see you sort of like reminiscing online you're on your phone a motherfucking lot okay sagittarius i need to tell you this i feel like you need to like chill out with the phone time like chill out like maybe take because well, i okay so maybe that's what it is or maybe you have so much social media presence that like you need to take a break but i feel like your eyes and your neck are like literally strained like that's like the most like um average thing to say but it's like it's true i feel like i just see you like this a lot right because look at here but at the same time I, see, I feel like you also need to be online to make your magic but look like look how they're looking down this whole time like looking at the internet but then again it's like you're also researching other things too so i don't know if you're gonna be on your phone at least like just try to hold it up here or something you know what i'm saying because i feel like i feel like your neck hurts okay a starfish is that could be relevant to you in some way and i'm also seeing like uh it's not nunchucks but it's those like stars those like uh those like metal stars i have no idea what they are but so you could have had a failed relationship recently i feel like you gained power from this actually or like you're really learning from the things that have happened to you in this failed marriage or failed relationship um i feel like you you got away from this peacefully or you're trying to get away from this peacefully i do see a lot of blocks here like this could just be mental blocks of things that you're like kind of telling yourself like how am i going to be without this person or what it's going to be like without this person you could have like really liked someone for a long time and maybe you're just like fuck it it never worked out and i'm just gonna move on now um but i feel like this isn't really easy either but you're doing it the hangman or at least you're trying to anyway someone could be a little manipulative to you Ooh, ten of coins and the lover so you're gonna you can meet someone at your job right so i feel like you end up making a good amount of money somewhere i feel like this could be a client this could be a manager this could be i have no fucking idea but this could definitely be somebody that you're I, if the eight of pentacles comes out like i won't be surprised i feel like you're gonna meet someone at your job or someone wants to pay you for something or someone's paying you for something. Someone's paying you for something. You, ooh, a knight of swords. Okay. And a queen and the wheel. Someone could even be leaving someone to be with you.
right? It's like someone's waiting for someone else to do something. Like, Or this could just be you performing something, Sagittarius. Maybe you have to, like, perform in front of people, too. Because, like, I almost feel like these are different acts. Or someone's acting different around you. Or acts different around you. Maybe someone's different in person. Let's think about this. I feel like it's not a bad thing. I, I almost feel like people are, like, kind of rushing to come see what you're doing. How you're doing it. Um... So if someone's coming towards you with an idea, I feel like maybe you're skeptical about it and maybe it needs to be refined or fine-tuned, but I feel like this person has the right idea, actually. Um, so if you're skeptical about something, I feel like maybe be a little open-minded, Sagittarius, and just kind of roll with it. Um, I feel like it's, it's going to be real real beneficial and I feel like this is crucial. So so you could be like taking a chance on someone um, and this could really hurt your image in some way, right? Like, so let's say you are shouting someone out who's, who's more, what's the word? Uh, controversial, controversial, right? If someone's controversial, controversial, I feel like you're like siding with them or something in some way, but, uh, I feel like it's the right thing to do, right? So I feel like you're taking the other route. You're saying like, you know what? Actually, I really kind of like this person. Like, I, I'm going to take a chance and say that I think that that, that it's going to work out. I feel like this is going to work in your favor, right? It's like you, you could even be managing somebody or you could be like a, a talent scout of some sort, right? Because like I said, this person needs a little refine tuning or fine tuning in some way, but they have the right idea. And I feel like eventually they're going to hit it. And I feel like when they hit this, you'll be the one to say, listen, I fucking back them up or something along these lines. Like, like not that you're not this person, but you, I feel like you also do this for a living. So maybe you had your time in like the spotlight or, or you were once that person. And now like you're teaching other people how to do it. Um, or something yeah happiness I feel like you're almost teaching people how to find the happiness that you found now um it's it's really like uh it's kind of it's what is I don't want to say uh, why do I want to say soothing but I, I don't like the way that word sounds I feel like you're very particular about your words because even before I said something and I was like oh that was a weird word so, I don't know, maybe you have, like, maybe you're doing, like, wordplay or, or word games or I don't know. Maybe you do this on your, yeah, games. I feel like you play a lot of, like, phone games or something, Sagittarius. Okay, so I feel like maybe you're looking to buy a home or invest in a home or you're saving to buy a home or something about houses. Because I see, like, a lot of, like, greenery, you know, like, those great, like, uh, the vines that are, like, usually grow on the side of the houses. I forget what they're called. Um, but it's very full, like something about your life is very abundant, right? With abundance here, obviously on the bottom, but, uh, you're like, you're celebrating, you're celebrating yourself. You're celebrating the things you do. You're celebrating other people. And I just feel like it's a constant, happy, like back and forth between you and your friends, you and your family, you and your coworkers. Um, so far, so fucking good. Like I really, I see nothing wrong here. I mean, knock on wood, right? But I feel like you've been making good decisions and this is just like, showing up in your life just like that like everything's great yeah like you're sitting on top of the world so you could smoke so you might you might be vaping a lot or smoking a lot um i'm not i'm like me personally like as a person like i give i i well i personally like to smoke but i feel like it's bad for you you know what i'm saying or like if it's like pot related i don't smoke cigarettes or anything like that i used to but i don't now so just so you know that take but i feel like somebody is smoking too much or something like right like i don't want to say that so maybe maybe someone doesn't want to believe that that's like a like I don't know. It's, it's weird. Like, or maybe you're like, it's the paper that you're using. Like maybe try using a different type of paper, right? Maybe like switch to joint papers. If you're using cigars or, or something like, I feel like there's something about the papers that you're using. There's like a judgment. Yeah. Look, look at all. Or you're like smoking way too many fucking blunts. I feel like that's what it is. You're smoking too many blunts like per day. I feel like you need to cut back on using that much paper. I feel like it's the paper is the problem. 
the paper is the problem. So, okay, so there's someone who's like a little bit too focused like on the money aspect of things. And I feel like you're, or or this could be you Sagittarius, um, but maybe like you're not in, like, or something about this, like that's money related because now I'd be like, it's all about the paper. So I feel like someone's arguing over pricing. There's like a price argument or like a price adjustment. Like maybe you want someone to change their price or someone wants you to change your price of your product, um, of how much you're charging them or, or what you're charging or what they're charging you. Uh, pick your side. <laughs> pick a side, any side. Ooh, 10 of cups. Damn, I don't know. Someone comes in quick. Okay, wait. I also feel like somebody finishes really fast after just hearing what I said. But I also feel like someone could go like over and over and over again. So I feel like you love this. I feel like someone has like multiple organs. Look, the ten of cups. It's like to end the swiftness. Look at all that like explosion, explosion. I feel like someone like has multiple orgasms and you fucking love this. Or this is you, Sagittarius. I feel like this is like your superpower. You have like all these literal orgasms. And like I feel like people love that. I think you just keep going like fucking eight hours all night long. Ten of coins, yeah. That's so funny. 10 out of 10. So I feel like you, I don't know, I, I'm getting a, like you meet someone and then like you're like 10 out of 10. This person's fucking amazing. I don't know. I, I feel like, or you go on vacation. Like I feel like you have like this like person maybe you meet on the first day and then like the whole week is great. Or this is you and someone that, yeah, six of swords again. You're like going away somewhere or you're trying to leave. I tried to just put this away. It didn't go. Oh, what's funny is it doesn't belong in this deck either. And then I just tried to put it back and it came right back out so you're definitely gonna notice that when you try to go and do something again that you used to do or that you think you're supposed to do it's not gonna work and it's not gonna work almost immediately you're gonna see the problems right away like be aware of this be aware you're gonna do something or you're doing this right now something that you think you're supposed to maybe be doing but like you're not really sure so you're just doing it to see like what happens you're gonna see it's not gonna belong like something doesn't belong right like you know how they like have the test like okay pick the one that doesn't belong it's that motherfucking thing Sagittarius you gotta pick you gotta pick you gotta notice what it is right you don't want I feel like you're gonna get a, oh, okay so maybe you're talking to like your grandmother or like someone who like a family member who doesn't live near you oh I feel like you're really far away from this person I feel like they miss you I feel like you miss them too like I said this could be a grandparent this could be a parent um but like the person was literally like in space and like the grandma was like I feel like someone might maybe getting older and like you're like I don't know like maybe fight family dynamics are changing and this could be like kind of weighing on you this could just be for one or two people change yeah there's something changing that that's just kind of like oh like I wish this didn't have to be this way or the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you, so maybe uh, maybe something didn't work out the way you wanted to. Maybe you didn't make enough money on something that you thought you were going to make money on. Um, don't worry, Sagittarius. I feel like just because someone isn't receptive now doesn't mean it's not going to be that way down the line. Like, sometimes you got to let shit simmer, right? Like, the sauce tastes better after you let it sit after or like if you make like me personally like anything that sits in the fridge well not everything but like you know what i'm saying like it's that flavor it's got to like absorb everything so just let it sit right if you put something out there and people don't like jump right away don't worry about what other people have to say about it or don't worry if someone else is sitting there criticizing go oh it only sold this amount in this amount of time well don't worry because by this time next year it's going to be a whole different story right people have to take time to catch on to things and especially for you Sagittarius if you're ahead of the game which a lot of the times you honestly are okay people don't like to admit it but you are um they'll see they're they're gonna be like oh yeah Sagittarius you're right but you gotta give them the time like uh, the thing that you can't do Sagittarius is be like no motherfucker I'm right right you just gotta back off and be like you know what you're right yeah, yeah or not you're right but like all right we see you know we have our differences don't worry they're gonna come back around they're gonna see that it's different next year this time I swear come back you will remember this reading okay because something, eight of cups, walk away. Yeah, just walk away from the people who don't think what you think. Like, because I'm getting that. I'm getting you have an opinion that that is different from other people. Stick to what you fucking want to think. They're, they'll come back. They'll come back. <laughs> I fucking promise you. Three of swords. So someone could have really just like, so this could be a financial thing as well. Uh, I do. I was feeling a little bit of heartbreak. I feel like there's been a, a roller coaster of emotions, Sagittarius. I feel like, 
we went from like being in love to like maybe having a boyfriend and then like I don't know maybe you could have moved in with this person and then maybe they left like I I'm getting it's it, it all sort of like happened a it's a lot of it happening all at once like does that make any sense it's like someone that you would like watch like the clouds change or you would watch the stars at night with um, but then you'd also fight and, and then break up with and then believe, you know, like I'm not supposed to be with this person, but then think that they're the only person you're supposed to be with. It, it's a really, really hard ride. It is a hard fucking trip. Like this is not an easy one for you. Um, but I do think that there's something ultimately to learn out of whatever this like experience is for you, this roller coaster ride that you're having. If this is like your story with this person. Could be with an Aquarius, another Sagittarius, or an Aries. It just happens to be the signs that I see right now. So I think not moving away from this person for a while would be a poor decision, in my opinion. Obviously, do what's best for you. Um, but it, it's better if you have, you have to, how are you going to compare if you've only been with this person, right? Like if it's been a long ride, like maybe if you take, cause afterwards you could be like, wow, I really do want to be with this person. Like I, I've realized like I do love you or, or you realize, you know what, this, this was something that was more toxic that I really actually was just like, uh, what's the words? Um, it's like a negative attachment. It's like you're just as attached in those toxic relationships, right? You're just as attached as if you were truly in love. It's the same attachment, but in different circumstances or under different circumstances. And it feels just like true love. And I think that that's what the crazy part about it is. It's it's really, oh my God, I love. It's so crazy. This, this reading is deep. Wow. This reading is really deep six of cups and love but it is it's something about your past but these flowers look at them they're wilting and, and and there's just i think you need some sort of a different view on it like you need to be able to compare the situations me by myself versus me with this person and give yourself enough time this isn't like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna not live with you but then we're gonna fucking text and talk every day no Sagittarius, that doesn't work like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying you can't do that shit right you gotta like fully cut them off you gotta fully cut them off just for a little while and then come back if you want to. Eight of Cups, walk away. Again, death card, yes. Okay, this is the best reading ever. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say because they're telling you the way it is, right? Like, from them to me to you, baby, I love you. This is like, you're gonna be so happy after you're able to make this decision, I promise you. Like, you'll hate me now, but like, you'll come back and love me later, hopefully, <laughs> okay? Okay, yes, Eight of Cups and the Death card. It, that's what it is. It's it's walk away and just have that sort of ending with yourself. This isn't, nothing is forever. So just let it be for now. Okay, Sagittarius, I love you so fucking much. I'll see you on the next one. And make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.